I'm going to see what this jam group is playing. So the first thing I gotta figure out as soon as they start playing is not so much do I know the song, because you can, you can get by not knowing a song if you can read the fretboard of the other people who are accompanying the soloist playing rhythm, the people playing rhythm, especially if you can read the fretboard on a banjo or a guitar. Um, and then follow that, follow that, watch that. You'll notice when I don't know a song, I'm just constantly looking at the different instrumentalists to see if I can follow the chord progression. And then essentially, you can do, you could just insert rolls over those chords. But you gotta, you gotta figure out the chords first. And when you figure out the chords, let's say you notice there's a D, you notice there's a C, you notice there's a G. Well, guess what? When you're dealing with those chords, G, C, and D, you're in the key of G, 100% of the time. Uh, there might be some exceptions to that, but, but in bluegrass, it's 100% of the time. Um, if, if you notice they're doing those same chord shapes, but they have the capo here on the second fret, right, they didn't say they're doing open, what we would call open G without the capo, and then without the capo, we'd call this C, without the capo, we'd call this D. But since we're a whole step up, i.e. two frets up, Technically, we're dealing with completely different chord names. We're dealing with A, D, and E, not G, C, and D. So if you know your alphabet, you can tell, look, G becomes A, two frets up. You're dealing with letters that only go to G. So G, after G, you go back to A. So G, two frets up is A. C, two frets up is D, if you know your alphabet. And D, two frets up is E. So instead of G, C, D, it's A, D, E. And listen, they're starting to play right now. So what am I listening to? I'm listening to the key. La. So you want to find that center of gravity, which is the key. That is the center of gravity, also known as the key. Right, so find that, find that note. Take the capo off first. La 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 la. What I do is I use the third string. La. Is it that? No. La. Oh, it's that. What note is that? You, you need to know your notes on the fretboard. That's a C. Same as this. So I'm in the key of C. So I have two choices. I can do. I can play out of a C. So in, when you're dealing with C, you're dealing with F. I'm seeing you're going to F chord. G and C. So just three chords. F. C. G. C. So you could do it that way, or you could do the you could use the capo on the fifth fret because this this chord is a C. So I put the capo here, and then I just pretend I'm playing an open G, right? Which is a little lower maintenance than having to hold a C chord. Watch. So what's, help, what's gonna help you know the chord progression, again, is watching the different people on their fretboard. So I see the banjo. You can see, you know, here. So you're gonna have, some, in the key of C, you're gonna have some instrumentalists playing with a capo on the fifth fret, some of them playing like this. Actually, most of them are playing without the capo. So what I would do is follow that. So you have, you have more people that you can actually match your fretboard to. G, F, that was a walk down to F. I'll do some fancy stuff.
So I'm not gonna play this song. So one of the things uh, I've run into as a teacher is uh, sort of uh, this mystery that other students have expressed to me as far as trying to figure out what key a song is in. And here's the thing about that, there's no, there's no magic trick to figuring out the key of a song, because you have to figure out what key a song is in first to be able to play it. So when I talk about the center of gravity of a song, that's the key. That's, the, that's gonna be the chord that the song starts in, and it's gonna be the song, the chord that the song ends in. And it's also gonna be the chord that pretty much every phrase ends on. So that's what I mean about the center of gravity. You start there, you go away, you come back. You, for one verse, you go away. For a chorus, you come back. For the end of that chorus, the resolution, right? You start on that chord for a solo, you go away, you come back, and you end. You resolve that solo on that chord. So that's what I mean by the center of gravity. You're always coming back to it. So how do you find the center of gravity? It, like I said, it's not something that's, that any instruction book is gonna teach you. This is what I can tell you about getting better at that. Listen to a lot of music and try to test yourself and go, okay, what key are they in? Try to find that center of gravity. Try to find the note and the chord because the note's gonna be the root of that chord. If, if they always end on a G and they start on a G, well, guess what? They're in the key of G, so you gotta find the note and then the chord that that note is the root of, right? So, um, I'm listening to hear what song they're gonna do, so they just stopped. They were doing dueling banjos, so um, here's the thing about dueling banjos. You don't hear dueling banjos too much at festivals, because dueling banjos is such a banjo, banjo showcase, and generally at festivals you have other pickers who wanna do other stuff. Um, mostly uh, a lot of vocals. So it's really rare that you're gonna hear a song like Dueling Banjos. Um, but they're getting ready to do a song. I see them tapping on a rhythm. Okay, I don't know a key yet, because no one has a capo on. Actually, does anyone? No one does. But I see people reaching for their capo, so that's a clue. Does that mean they're gonna be an A if it's on the second fret? Possibly. I hear, I, okay. So I hear a guitar player playing some rhythm. I can't see his fretboard. Oh, I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be a solid dog. That's the song, right? Listen to the note I land on. I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be a solid dog, dog, dog. That's the key. Oh my God. So. <laughs> La la la, let me be a da da da. Watch the na 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 na. La 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 la. That's our resolution. G G G G. That's the key we're in. So now, Salty Dog has a few more chords thrown in there than your typical G C D song. So for a song like this, if you didn't know it, you would have to watch the guitar player. You'd have to watch a banjo player. If you can't read a guitar player's fretboard, look at the banjo player. And of course, if you play another string instrument, you can always look at, let's say you play mandolin, look at a mandolin player. Uh, the bass isn't gonna be much help because they're not doing chords. Fiddle is not gonna be much help at all either. Um, so watch. Oh, he's going E. Hey, oh, he's going D. So it's basically just going G, E, A, because I'm watching. E. So we, always, we already know it's G, G, E, I'm just throwing rolls over these stationary chords. G lick. G lick will always, when you're at a loss, G lick will put the button on a phrase. Watch it. That was G lick. E. D. I'm doing some. I'm doing some leading tones too, in addition to the chords. You'll hear. Watch. Watch. All right. I'll do it again. Those are leading tones. Right. Lead. Right. Up the neck. This is this is going to show you how important it is to know these chord shapes. Watch. G, E, A, D, 
That was all D. So you gotta know your inversions, because it's gonna help you solo, create solos. G lick, G, E, A. So when, when other people are playing too, I'm playing kind of, I'm playing louder than I would normally if I was right there, insinuating myself into the group, because you, you don't wanna overpower people. So if I was in the group, waiting for a solo, I'm just playing, I would just be doing backup. Leading tones. D A D. Leading tone. G lick. E A. These are just different inversions. D. This is this is an up the neck G lick. Watch. I'll do it. D up the neck G lick. A, D. So all you need to know is the chord inversions. What? I'm not doing any licks. I'm just doing, playing rolls over these chords. There you go, salsa dog. She's as pretty as she can be.